Ki Woo Kim I say young man living in poverty in the slums with his family father Ki Tech Kim, mother Chung Sup Kim, and sister Ki Young. The family lives in a garden unit where they struggle finding their Wi-Fi signal to sneak into, get fumigated on, and have to watch men pissing in the alley outside their home. They make ends meet by doing menial tasks such as folding pizza boxes and even then, get criticized by the pizza employees for messing up the boxes. Ki Woo's wealthy friend Min Hyuk pays the familiar visit, giving them a gift a rock that is supposed to bring those who have it wealth and prosperity. He then tells Ki Woo that he has been tutoring the teenage daughter of a very wealthy family, he is leaving to study abroad but is in love with the daughter, and knows that any of the other university boys would steal her away. He wants Ki Woo to be her tutor, knowing he will watch over her so that Min Hyuk can propose to her once she graduates high school. Ki Woo knows he isn't qualified since he isn't in college, but Min Hyuk promises to vouch for him, and so he agrees and has Ki Young forge accreditations for him to take to his interview. Ki Woo interviews at the very wealthy Park family Mr. Park, scatterbrained Mrs. Park, and their children, teenage daughter Da Hae and young son Da Song. Ki Woo realizes he needs to flirt with Da Hae to get the job, and he does Mrs. Park pays him an exorbitant amount of money and mentions they need an art tutor for Da Song. Da Song had a traumatic incident, where he saw a ghost in the house and had a seizure, and has been needing help with his art. Ki Woo introduces them to Ki Young, who forges documents for herself and goes by Jessica, and she too begins making money hand over fist. When the park's driver takes her home, Ki Young leaves her underwear in the car in order to get him fired. She then suggests her uncle as the new driver who is really Ki Tech. The last position is that of the housekeeper, Moon Kwong. She has worked for the home since before the Park family lived there she worked for the previous owner, an eccentric architect. In order to get her fired, the Kims exploit her allergy to peaches, causing her to have allergic reactions, they then convince Mrs. Park that she is seriously contagiously ill and cannot be around their son. She leaves, devastated, and Mrs. Kim is given the job, fooling the Park family into hiring the entire Kim family. The Kim family enjoys their huge increase in income, and when the Park family decides to leave to go camping for De Song's birthday weekend, they take the opportunity to stay in the huge park house for the weekend. They spend the evening drinking and eating and making a mess of the place. When the doorbell rings, it's Moon Kwong. She claims she was fired so quickly she left without being able to get something and just wants it back. Mrs. Kim reluctantly lets her in, and Moon Kwong runs into the basement and begins screaming, opening a secret passage behind some shelves. She goes to her husband, Gun Se who has secretly been living in the bunker every since the previous owner moved out in order to hide from lone sharks. She gives him food while Mrs. Kim looks on in horror she tells Moon Kwong she needs to leave, and as Moon Kwong begs her to let them stay, the rest of the Kim family falls off the stairs and into view and they call each other dad, etc., which Moon Kwong films on her phone, realizing the con the family has pulled. She threatens to send it to the Kims, and uses that so she and her husband can force the Kim family to do their bidding. The Kim family manages to get the upper hand on them, getting them into the secret bunker, but the Park family calls, they've cancelled their camping trip due to rain and will be home in 8 minutes. The Kims scramble, trying to clean up as much mess as they can, keeping the other two in the basement. They manage to do a good enough job that the rest of the family is able to hide while Mrs. Kim gives the Parks their dinner when Moon Kwong breaks out and runs upstairs, Mrs. Kim shoves her back down the stairs, where she hits her head and is severely wounded. Moon Kwong and Gun Se are locked in the bunker. Mr. and Mrs. Park end up sleeping in the living room in order to keep an eye on Da Song who is camping out in the backyard, forcing the Kims to stay under the table, frozen all night, even as the Parks complain about Mr. Kim's smell and then later, have sex. Eventually, in the dead of night, they are able to sneak out. They return home to find their apartment completely flooded with rain and sewage. Ki Woo takes the rock, and the family sleeps in a shelter for the night. The next day, Mrs. Park decides to throw an impromptu party for Da Song. The Kim family, in their roles as help, are invited and have to pretend that they don't know that there are two people locked in a bunker under the house. Ki Woo takes the rock down into the bunker, where Moon Kwong has died, and is ambushed by Gun Se, who bludgeons him in the head with the rock. He then enters the party, where he stabs Ki Young in the chest. The party explodes into horror, and a song has a seizure Gun Se was the ghost he had seen in the house prior. Mr. Park screams at his driver, Mr. Kim who is trying to stop Ki Young's bleeding for the car keys to take his son to the hospital, and he throws them to him. They land under Gun Se, who is fighting with Mrs. Kim. She manages to kill him by stabbing him with a meat skewer. Mr. Park gets the keys, but expresses disgusts at Gun Se's smell this triggers Mr. Kim, who snaps and stabs Mr. Park, killing him. 
Mrs. Park faints as Mr. Kim flees. Ki Wu wakes up in the hospital, where he had been in a coma for weeks. There has been no sign of Mr. Kim, even though the police have been searching for him for Mr. Park's murder far and wide. Ki Wu leaves the Rock Ina River and observes the former Park house where he sees the lights flickering. Ki Wu translates the flickering from Morse code and learns Mr. Kim is controlling them from inside the bunker, where he is now living, sneaking upstairs for food from the new owners. Ki Wu writes his father a letter back, resolving that someday he will become rich enough that he can buy the house and their family can be reunited. Thanks for watching.